I forgot to turn off the winter setting, but I'm here for the private lesson. That's all that matters. So for today's video, I am here with Shadow, one of my club members, and I am giving her a private elite dressage lesson. Don't mind my sad horse. I kind of forgot to feed her. <laughs> I'm forgetting a lot of things now. Anyways, back to the private lesson. I hope this video helps you and benefits your dressage. The first move Shadow will be learning is machine. So on the first go, the evens will expand from the rail next to the odds. On the second go, the odds will cut the evens off. On the third go, the evens will keyhole to the wall and merge with the odds. On the fourth go, the odds will always belt left at the middle of the arena. Evens will follow and you will go left at wall or the way you were headed. Since we're doing it at a walk, it's a little bit tricky for gaps. Picking it up to a trot, you will normally do machine at a trot. Now I will keyhole and she will belt left at the middle of the arena. I will follow her. Since there's only two of us, there will be other riders if there was like a bigger line and you would align with everybody. Like odds would align with odds, evens would align with evens. Once you master machine, the commander will normally throw random moves inside machine. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is Shadow's first time at this. Since I'm typing while doing this, my camera will not be exactly straight. I'm trying to use the curve so I can type faster. Now let's throw in a C curl. So for machine, you can make it really, really advanced if you want, or you can make it really easy with the moves that you throw in. This is pretty simple. And then we will go left at wall. There we go. Next up is surf. On the first go, you will do a double curl wave. Odds right, evens left. Since there's only two of us, we will both go right since there's nobody behind us to be the even. On the second go, you will always do a keyhole out, and then you have to align with everybody else, obviously, since it is a comb now. And on the third go, you will go back into a rain, heading the way you were originally going. The next move is Pinkachu, and this is also Shadow's first attempt on Pinkachu. We'll see how she does it. It basically makes an individual diamond shape for the riders that are doing it. Since there's only two of us, it will basically just look like a normal diamond follow move. But you will do this move in a rain, tear, or waterfall. First go, you will slant comb out. On the second go, you will slant comb in. And right before you're about to merge, the commander will call out the third go. And that's what sends you back into your rain, tear, or waterfall. And everyone will merge behind you. We're trying it one more time and then we'll move on to the last and final move. Now slant comb in and then back to your rain. Just like that. Last move for today is streamer. Normally you will do this move in a trot, but we're doing it in a canter just for fun. There is only one go, that's it. So the odds will comb while the evens curl. And when the evens curl, they will just head straight from where they're originarily going while the odds continue to cut across the arena. And that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Normally, you will never go faster than a canter and dressage, but me and Shadow decided to change it up a bit and do an extended canter. I really want to do this with my club and just have like a galloping dressage day. Oh, it would be so chaotic, but could you imagine if we got the timing right? That is the end for today's video. I hope this video helped you and now you know some more dressage moves. Yay. And until next time, bye.